Good afternoon, uh, Sasha. Sasha, how are you? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. And you? I'm okay. I understand we find you in the minute uh, in the uh, in London at the minute. Um, yeah. And uh, you're flying from London. Where to? Yeah, I'm, I'm just uh, leaving now in some minutes the hotel, and um, we're flying to Gibraltar in Spain. We have there a big show tonight. And that's all uh, in in. Uh, in, uh, in the middle of a very big uh, European, or I understand even bigger than European tour that you're doing at the moment. Yeah, right? I mean, we, 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 have, we have actually a, a world tour since two years, and I just came back uh, last week from a, a three-week-long uh, Asian tour in, in Japan, Thailand, Singapore, Hong Kong, and uh, so it was very busy, and I'm just back since, since uh, one week here in Europe again. And um, yeah, yesterday was England, tomorrow is Oh, today is Spain and tomorrow is Norway. Now, you might recall, you might remember that, um, about two years ago, you were here in Israel. Uh, you gave a yes. show on the beach on Independence Day. Yes, I remember. And with, I was also... Uh, I think with um, um, Robert Miles. Right, with Robert Miles. Yes. And I was the DJ there, you know, uh, working around... Uh, uh, on stage as well, and oh I, really? Yeah, um, it was an excellent venue. I really enjoyed this. It was a really good venue, right on the beach, and the people were really up for dancing and for a party. I had a good time there. So you do remember it? Uh, yes, of course I remember it, and I, I remember as well the food. It was brilliant food what we had before the show. So is it different, uh, you know, the show right now than what it was in Israel? Oh yeah, it's, it's definitely different. I mean, I mean, when when I look back at this time. You know, there was just encore and four out, and uh, Ecuador was coming to be the next single. And um, I think I think our show just had three songs or four songs, and uh, it was done in 15 minutes. And when when I see now the live show is uh, is like one and a half hour, and um, you know at this place is you know how it was in Israel last time. Now we have firework with on stage and. Um, we are with 10 people now on stage, with a lot of dancers, with the singers, so the show has changed definitely. You know, this world is a world of uh, very fast changing dance music and very fast changing dance acts. And still Sash is managing to stay on top of things and even become a dance empire. Uh, how do you keep up with the competition? <laughs> yeah, I just try always, you know, to make good music, to make catchy music, what I, that I think uh, Lots of people like this kind of music, and um, yeah, I, that's, that's actually the only thing what I try. I try to make, you know, still music for the clubs and music for, for radio stations, music for people who just listen to music and not, not dance to music. So I always try just to go the, the way in the middle. Nevertheless, you tried a year ago to break to the markets in the States, and it didn't work out quite. Why do you think that is? Um, yeah, I mean, with the first album, we. Um, we tried there to go in the charts, and I mean, we had three number ones in the Billboard dance charts. We were calling for Ecuador and Stay, but um, I think we had not a very good record company in America because they don't put so much money out to make a proper uh, yeah, promotion on all the radio stations in the whole country. So, uh, but I think I'm definitely we changed this for the new album with Primavera, Mysterious Times, and Move Mania. And then I think we are successful as well in uh, America. Yeah, I just think at the beginning of next year we start with this there. Just say bye bye to the other record company, I guess. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, you're very, very, very successful at the moment with uh, Move Mania uh, featuring Shannon. Uh, mm -hmm. How did you actually hook up with Shannon? You know, of all the names and artists around, how did you find Shannon of all people? Yeah, I mean, uh, when you look now at the charts, there is really a big, big 80 years revival and, and, and lots of groups are doing cover versions of 80 years songs. And you know, when you listen to the such songs, <laughs> there are no cover versions, they are all new songs. And I said, okay, then uh, let's try to do something, you know, with the sound of the 80s and a new such version of the 90s. And uh, then we were thinking about what can even more bring the feeling into the song of the 80 years song. And then we said, oh, why we should not uh, take uh, a famous singer out of the 80s with a big song. And I mean, Shannon, I think, had in my eyes the, the biggest song we let the music play in the 80s. And so we asked her just, said, uh, over her management, do you want to sing one song for Sash? 
And she said straight yes. So that's how we hook up with her. And that's her biggest success, I think, the biggest she she known ever since. Um, no, I think still uh, Let The Music Play was bigger than Move Mania. Okay. We're modest. Uh, I understand at the moment you're negotiating with uh, uh, Lisa Stansfield. Is that true? Um, no, there are there are a lot of names at the moment where, where we try to work on. Uh, there's as well Mariah Carey, there's Lisa Stansfield. Celine I mean, Dion. Uh, we will see. We just started working on the new album, which then for the next uh, summer. But uh, we will see who we get. Um, maybe some unknown people, some well-known people. Uh, we try now to find people and we see uh, at the end who is singing for such. Is the album, is the album uh, for the next summer, is it ready already or is it still... Uh... No, no, we just started. Uh, so the, the first instrumental song is just uh, ready. And um, no, it, it's not. I mean, it, it takes at least to the end of May, end of June that it's ready. I see. And do you think it's possible to see such a... Uh, very, very unique cooperation with somebody like Mariah Carey, for such. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, she has a brilliant voice and, and uh, we definitely try to go in contact with her management and see if, if there is a chance to do something together. I mean, um, I know it will be hard, you know, to do some promotion with her together because she's very, very busy for herself. Mm -hmm her own project but uh, maybe just an album number you know when it is even not a single so um, we see what we can do okay Stash I wish you all the best I wish you luck with your uh, tour and with the next album thank you very much and I hope keep up uh, the good work scoring hit after hit for many <laughs> yeah years to come. I hope so as well and maybe we see us one day again in Israel alles beste danke schön <laughs>